Hey guys, welcome. John Peterman, tying a green drake imitation today. This is not a, a, a very accurate imitation, but it's a more like a universal pattern. And it can be used for both uh, the, the Subi Mago or the Don, uh, and it can actually also be used as uh, Imago, the spinner. Um, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very good uh, fishing uh, fly. Not the best imitation, as I said, but a very good fishing fly. And it's fairly easy to tie as well. Okay, let's, uh, let's, go, let's start tying. This is a, a size six hook, maybe not the, the accurate size for the female uh, imitation, but uh, this is also more the, the male version of the Efe Mardanica. Uh, and that's this, uh, that's this uh, some kind of smaller than the female. I guess at least one size if you compare to, to the hook size. <clears throat> Starting out with the, with the tails, I'm using a um, uh, moose mane and just uh, three uh, hairs from the moose mane. And this, this is a very strong material. So it's, it's gonna stay there for a long time on the fly when you're fishing with it. And find the best ones. There was two of them. And it has three tails, this, uh, this uh, mayfly. So I'm gonna tie three tails in, of course. Some mayflies has two tails, but this one has three. There we go. <clears throat> and try to, um, to match the, the links. So these tails are the same length. There we go. And tie them in on top of the hook. And then you can you can divide them into three. You can kind of split them up with the thread to make sure that they stay in that position you want them to stay in. I guess this would do it. And just tie the, the rest in. <clears throat> and cut excess off. Even though I'm using a fly right dubbing, which is fairly easy to use. I always use the Overton's Wonder Wax. Been using that for more than 30 years now. And it's it's uh, it's something you can't live without when you start it. It's gonna do the dubbing very easy. <clears throat> so to start with, I'm gonna dub the the last third of the of the the body. That's about that. And then I prepared a hackle just before I started here. And tie it in on top. And then I'm gonna do the next part of the body with the dubbing. When you use the Overton stopping rakes, it's 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 very easy to do a, like a small rope, fine rope. So you can you can make the the body in the shape you want quite, quite easy. 
just a few a few threads around the, the haggle to make it stand out and then I'm going to finish the the rest of the middle part of the body here <clears throat> just need a little more There we are. <clears throat> and then the haggle, you can do three, four, five turns, depending on how heavily you want it to be haggled. I'm just gonna do like, I, I think four turns. and then finish it off. And again, cut excess off. There we go. <clears throat> and now we are soon gonna do the CDC in a, in a loop, but I need a, a small amount of dubbing as an, an underbody for the CDC. And this time I'm gonna finish the, the thread where I finished the hackle. And then I'm gonna split it right here. So I can start the 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 CDC duping loop from here until this part, and this is where the old eyes are getting not so good anymore. I'm trying to find the the place to split the the thread here. Maybe I should prepare the the CDC hacker first. There we go, very soon. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's difficult to find the, the flat area of the thread. This is a, a Vivus 10-0. It's very good with smaller flies and it's normally easily split it if you can find where it is. Insert the CDC in the loop and then just divide it towards the, the hook and spin. And then just uh, pick out some of the few longer hairs that might be stuck in here. And wind them forward and then do, do 
like when you're uh, doubling a hackle, so you won't trap any fibers and you can brush them out afterwards. Right there. <clears throat> and then um, the French partridge hackle. And this is of course where the name for the fly came from originally even though this is not an original French partridge, the haggle is the same. <clears throat> then grab the, the feather in the middle, so you won't trap too many fibers. And then unleash the fibers as when you turn, uh, as long as you're turning the, the feather here. And try to do like three or maybe four turns. It's not a, a long feather, so four will do it. And just finish it off. And whip finish, and then you can just trim the fly a little. Just divide the, the feathers so they won't be tra trapped to each other anymore and the same with the CDC and the flies uh, is good to go. Thank you for watching. Uh, happy tying.